Hello my friend. Now what I'm doing is the Leo Airbra uh, dry brush using by the silver uh, in the mail. And this is very common technique, so I got nothing to tell you. However, you can see if you want. The point that I think the dry brush is uh, whether uh, the paint dry enough or not uh, to to the um, inside of the brush, right? If the paint is so wet, it might you know not get. Uh, good result, I think. But if the brush brush is getting dry and dry, it's also very difficult to uh, get a good result. So um, it's it's a I I I think that the time is very important in that case. To, to keep the good conditions of the brush, right? So it just uh, put some a little bit in fine and try to get dry enough. Or maybe you can use the dry cross, of course. And you can, you can also try, um, maybe if you want, uh, other, you know, uh, plastic models, which is uh, not necessary at all. You can try this, but I just try directory whether it is good or not. I think these kind of techniques is You need to have some experience. Well, it's it's a it's not it's not a simply easy way, not at all. And don't push so hard. Just just soft touch is fine. Just uh, it's not it's not a painting like you know. As usual, it's just uh, like you know how do I, I don't know how do I say but it's just a simply uh, need uh, experience. And, and the good point to using the enamel is uh, you have already known um, if you do so much or if you missed you can easily wipe it off with the uh, enamel thinner cloth um, that's the way I use the uh, enamel silver for it easy to fix up and easy to you know uh, try that again if you you know until I get um, satisfied to to my result. And this one, I think there isn't too much detail, so um, their dry brush effect will not be a uh, nice. And it's very, uh, it's it's very, you know, uh, tend to the condition of the temperature. Um, you know, in if you're doing the in the winter, 
are the you know it it get dry more slowly, but um, the temperature is very high. It's very fast to get dry, so that's why I'm doing putting uh, anywhere so many times. <laughs> that's why you know it's, it's a summer, so. So the basic technique is uh, very similar that uh, to to I uh, just uh, uploaded before when I um, painting a uh, cockpit. So it's not something special at all of moving, but um, I think that's fine. And then. The time get dry so so fast today. So usually, once you put, you know, the enamel into the brush, uh, you can use a uh, long time. But this is summer. It's very fast to get dry. So I need to be hurry if I want if if, if the. If you are very familiar with the uh, AFB and whatever, or uh, you, you do many times, so maybe you you are you have a good skill better than me, I think. Um, but dry brush is um, when when you are be, uh, making like the uh, ejection sheet, which is a resin. Um, dry brush effect is very very accurate. You can put some uh, white enamel into, you know, some kind of the uh, unseen a area. Uh, you can do that, but I think the dry brush is much better than that. And of course, um, I can tell you, um, to do such kind of things, the surface must be uh, flat. So I painted a uh, flat brush. And it helps that um, dry brush easy to do. I think a little bit is alright. Always. So fast to dry. And some part um, I can show you right uh, I think it's pretty fine. I think F fourteen Tomcat is quite, you know, all aircraft so um, maybe uh, I should do in a little bit more, but I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's up to your feeling of the uh, sense. So. so I just wiped off the unnecessary part. This is not silver here. So I just easily wiped off. And I think the most of the aircraft builders don't do their dry brush on the uh, aircraft surface because the aircraft surface is very flat and some, so sometimes, you know, um, people are not familiar with dry brush and me too. But uh, it's just need a uh, practice sometimes. And like this. Uh, it has some um, details on it. 
but I'm not sure whether it should be cut or not because I'm going to close the canopy in this time so okay it should be it can be remain no problem at all Or maybe you can do this after you um, install the cockpit and you know um, the 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 procedures is not only you know um, this time uh, you can do that after that or not whatsoever. But I can just show you the very simple demonstration. At least you can identify a little bit. It is fine. left side of the but at least uh, once I cross the canopy um, it, it doesn't see at all you know it, it, it's hiding so it, it's just fine right and next I just uh, preparing for put some colors into the lens of the front uh, front screen, and I check the real pictures, and I consider that to put some very very bright color into it. But if I see the pictures, uh, when I see the pictures, it doesn't shine so much. I mean. Uh, if the I think um, it's, it's it's quite not uh, a little bit old aircraft, right? So it doesn't shine so well. I cannot see bright lenses inside it. It's a very dark orange or dark uh, clear green and whatever. I cannot see that um, pretty accurate um, texture, so I just uh, confused that. It has a clear lens in it, but the kit doesn't have, so I have to put some clear treatment. However, I cannot see that. Where the damn? This is the rear cockpit, and this is the F-14D, and I want to to have a F-14A. I cannot see. This is D. A is pretty all aircraft, right? So sometimes um, I get confused with that. For models, it should have some uh, very uh, bright accent, which is nice. But according from the real things, uh, it shouldn't have so much up here. Okay, I just put a uh, clear green which is not seen so much but it's just fine and after I do in this I just uh, put some clear treatment so in this time it's just uh, painted as a very dark clear green is fine If it uh, it's a pretty modern aircraft, which is like F-14, F-16, and whatever, F-15, uh, I put some lenses on it, but in this time, I don't use it. Just 
Ah, uh, you cannot see at all. Sorry for that. <laughs> this is not a good camera. Anyway. And um, I will show you if 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 this one get uh, completely dry or or the like the lenses uh, effect is you know if I do that uh, it, it 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 looks more accurate. So I will show you. And I used to explain before. But it's just fine. And as you can see, this is the, I think the ejection canopy uh, emergency handle, which is, uh, it, which should provide to this side, I think. So before uh, putting, uh, you have to make sure that whether the part will fix well or not. If the it's always it's, it, which is very important to to before you glue. You need to uh, identify. You know you, you need to fix to to get put the part properly. I think it might good. See this? It's not so tiny part, but you know, it's very important. And it has some caution line, uh, which is black. Uh, what do I look like? Do does it look like? I think it's not a straight line, it's a right R. Now I see that. So, then, I'll break it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, 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 well. Okay, fine. Fine at all. So you need to not to I I have to cover uh, where is where is the calculators? Not calculators, uh Actually, this is not a tutorial at all. This is uh, just a simply damn boring uh, diary uh, um, videos, uh, which is you know, this is not for common. But uh, you know, I hope you can enjoy it. Where is the yes? Yes, yes, yes. So prepare the very sharp knife and try to make a very tiny tape ASAP. I painted in black, so at least I have to hide in a yellow line. 
uh, which I want to. So. And if the tape is so thick, uh, it doesn't help so well. So um, it's 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 no, it's uh, it's all about is fine. I think it has a eight or seven or eight line on it, but it is impossible. <laughs> uh, maybe you can you can buy a Edward or other you know some other etching photo etching part which it has already painted. Uh, that one is much better than you know doing uh, yourself. So. But in my case, I think the four line is my maximum level. The damn hard. Right. This is a pretty sick. So make that try this. Try this one. Will be fine. But anyway, if if this kind of paint is if when it success, it is very pleasure to me. <laughs> oh, you know, it's some kind of um, very little satisfaction to doing the, this kind of thing. Pin set, so the pin set should be very uh, sharp and you know keep the keep the pin set uh, condition very nice. You can you can do this with messy pin set or some other thing. You need to use the very nice tools. Once you put the um, masking tape, uh, you need to push very steady to 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 glue that to to you know uh, if the tape will is not uh, stick so well. It, uh, the black paint will uh, leak. So I think this is four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the six is a bit. Whatever. People cannot see. I cannot see. So. Push a little bit to make sure that the ceiling is secure because the black paint is very strong, and you know, you, you I think you can't recover. Uh, the yellow color is very weak, and the black color is very uh, strong, so you cannot uh, paint. Uh, yellow um, on a black surface so it it, 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 it it doesn't show so well so so prepare for paint I think that's fine maybe I just I shouldn't do this Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Switch is back. And uh, this is the result to painting as the black airbrush. This is my natural techniques. Uh, I cannot uh, do that much better. And this are uh, this side should be, I think, gray or silver. I guess it's not a black, so I just uh, paint it as gray. To hold the part very steady, uh, where is the gray color? Oh, I see. This is very ancient acrylic um, hobby color. This is very old, but still can use. So. See. If you have a nice palette, you can use it, but I don't have it, so I just use the paper, that's all. And put some acrylic cinder in it. Try to make sure that uh, whether uh, the brush is good condition or not. And then start the painting, as usual. Paint as gray. Very tiny work. But if I compare with the resin part. It's not, it's not so tiny work. So in this time, it, I, I, I just, I just think that, um, which is very, pretty easy. Um, if I compare with their past work, um, which is like you know, um, the last time I used to uh, make a. Uh, a 14 Tomcat, uh, that was very um, hard because I do a lot of things too much to sing, so I just get tired with that um, and I, I found that um, I shouldn't do so much things into the uh, one model so just uh, remain, I feel, remain just uh, Exhausted feeling like that. So I I I wasn't I wasn't uh, get a nice feeling. I just get exhausted uh, after I finish the um, making a model. So whatever you want, you can do that in many. You know you can do you can you can use uh, many materials. You can do a lot of things that you imagine. But are the important things is that I want to say is. Whether you can continue to build a uh, modeling is very important. Once you get very exhausted and very tired, uh, okay, that, that's it, I finish, I, I don't want to do that again or whatever. Uh, that makes you uh, 
said, as I mean. And in in my modern style, um, I just wanted to say is is uh, it's it's always easy styling. It's not. I don't I don't you know use the so much things to do. I just uh, uh, try to find the enjoyment of the building the models, especially from the paintings. So uh, I don't want to you know okay how about uh, uh, inside of the gear array or how about the detail of the engine inside or whatever. It it, it it's you know it's a it's 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 not it's not my point. You know, once I can I can do that, but once I finish to do this, um, the the important thing is whether do I satisfy or do whether do I feel very pressure to finish that or not, right? Exhausting is very bad. And you you cannot you shouldn't do. I think you can do. Um, you know, just not only one one model you can do that it, uh, okay in this time I can do that I can put uh, some very accurate resin into it okay um, uh, this time I don't uh, I just uh, you know uh, I just just uh, build and paint or you know you don't you don't have to put so many things in just only one models right and the painting also the same I uh, sometimes I'm just uh, building a very simple uh, kit and just paint other simple and it's, only, it's just uh, it's just okay so whatever it's just uh, put in some <laughs> uh, it doesn't look so nice Anyway, it's okay. <laughs> Nobody care about that. And put some grooves in the from the opposite side. Um, just fine. And you can add some black line if you want. I think. It shouldn't be too much. This so so is alright. I'm not it, you're gonna know. And this is, uh, I think this is uh, acrylic. It, it is very uh, close to the water paint. So once I missed, I can just uh, easily wipe it off with the alcohol if I want. Just to uh, wipe off the missing things. It's just fine. Right. And the uh, range is has almost uh, dry well so now I can uh, use the, this one and I as I used to tell um, maybe you cannot get in your country so uh, if you want you can you should check the Japanese internet site if you want this is the very jerry Career and it's very uh, uh, it's, it, it's a very liquid in this time. This one is pretty pretty uh, jerry things before, and I just uh, put some into this. This is very jerry, so very hard to control. But once it get inside, 
very easily to handle. It looks more glossy and you know it's like uh rens it's it's more looks like renses as I tell. Okay, it's not I need to just put some more because the area is very large so It's pretty, pretty large lenses, I think. I just, uh, I didn't remember so well. So this is very hard. This, you know. So I use the UV light to. get dry completely. Without doing the UV light, it, it, the racket is, is, is still continue to get jerry, very jerry stuff. So once I used to like, you know, UV light inside like that, it can, it cannot be sticky so anymore. So it's like, you know, hot. No, you, it, it cannot stick so you know anymore. It, it already completely you know fix it. But it's not um, it's not a strong uh, ability of the glue. So the company selling the other material, uh, which is um, which contain our ability of the glue. But this this one is is, is it, it, you cannot get. Um, Put the part together, not at all. It, it easy to get off. So. Um, this is very damn. Damn, it, it, it a little bit expensive, but it's very recommended, I think. So, and the result is very clear. This is more like lenses. And I think the cockpit. Procedures is almost done. Success free, of course. And I think uh, I I found that uh, you should mention of that uh, once I install the front grill seat panel. Uh, it's something wrong with this, right? It doesn't have hole this side, so I, I, I should do something better, right? It's, 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 it's not my fault, <laughs> it's, it's a trumpeter idea, so I think something wrong with that side. So I should put some party or whatever. Okay. And put some this one to here. Right, and in this time, uh, what what I really want to do is uh, install the our, our the pilot, uh, which is not comes from trumpeter kit, which is from the uh, I think the academy figures uh, one over thirty two, and sit like this one back here so uh, I have to make sure that uh, the weather the our pilot figure are uh, fit uh, very well or not so sometimes our uh, our uh, this area should sand it off or you know our uh, I think the rear cockpit is okay but if I do that the front seat cockpit, uh, it cannot fix. Uh, I have to sand it a little bit. And more important things that uh, you should mention about that is the height of the pilot, right? Um, you, 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 you can also check the real picture. The, the important things that 
the distance of the seat and pilot is fine, but the height is very important. If the helmet is too high, uh, the, the, the rear canopy will touch it or, you know, sometimes. And it sometimes, you know, it looks very strange. Too tall pirate sitting there, right? So, uh, the point that uh, I should do is make sure that the, the, the position of the helmet and to, to this, uh, if I compare with the seat, and if the pilot is too high, I have to sand it, uh, this section, I think the two millimeters or, you know, or more, uh, cut off or, and, and sand it in flat to, to fix it, uh, their, their, uh, more, more accurate positions. And, uh, this is the, uh, resin seat, and the mold is very nice, and, but a little bit high, I think. So, um, this is very small uh, advice, but um, you should uh, mention about that. So, before you install the pilot, you know, uh, you, you need to make sure that you, you make a plan to do uh, what, what uh, you know, what, what should, you do, should you do. Wait, wait, on. Okay. So I uh, just uh, have to do is, um, as I told you before, where is the, it's always missing, 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 missing things, right? I need to, con I need to uh, fill in some strange holes, and I need some number. I think the two and a half. Oh, that was even the next one. So it's two and a half. And I think almost eight. So I just cut. This is the plastic. Um, Plastic seat. Uh, it's not a paper, but uh, it's it's a plastic seat, and cut it out into uh, a the side is one number eight. Number eight millimeter. Actually. And 2.5 millimeters, at least. from the plastic seat and make sure that whether the, the seat fits well or not. I think a little bit much. Always, always check is very important. Always, you know, do not do not trust yourself. Always test to fit before you 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 paint or you glue. Um, this is not 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 glue yet, so this isn't glue too. So always fitting is very important. Okay, this looks better. So I just painted uh, in this whole white seat as a black, and then uh, go that, and I think the almost of cockpit uh, procedure, you know, uh, process is uh, has has done. Uh, 
I, I hope. So, okay, right. Uh, I think the it's a perfect tree. Fix it and put some like that. We don't have to see any gaps anymore. Oh, this is pretty, pretty easy, pretty easy. So you know, solve the problem, but um, very effective. You cannot see. And now is the time to install into the main fuselage. But before, I should. Uh, what was that? Uh, I think I think yes. I need to prepare doing with this one. I think the uh, front uh, gear bay. And after I building this and put downside of the cockpit, and then I can install it. Okay. But anyway, anyhow, uh, what uh, should I do is always check the whether the cockpit part are uh, fixing into the body of the fuselage or not. Because the if if the part cannot fix so well, I think the you know it has some problem with doing what? So I think this way I think not the chatting one. Something like that, right? <laughs> this is very messy. Let's see, let's see. Maybe it will be fine, I think, because it is not a resin part at all. It, it can just install very easily. Just here and here, right? So. Once uh, I grew the other way and the other way and the, the, this way, um, it can be fixed uh, automatically, automatically very well. But anyway, anyhow, I have to uh, check. I have to, you know, make sure that uh, the fixing, test fitting is all right, right? Okay seems to okay and then try to put the other side to make sure that whether the guideline is okay or not I think I should send a little bit maybe But I think almost okay. And then, and then what? I see that. Mm hmm. The important thing is that you know, uh, if the cockpit is so wide, uh, the the shape of the fuselage will not be correct, of course, and and it causes like other uh, when I put the uh, uh, red on like that, if the you know if the fuselage is so large, uh, you have to sand it so many times. But if I uh, put the cockpit so correct, uh, it doesn't have to, uh, you know, sand it when I put a 
red on or whatever. So the fitting the cockpit is very important, especially the uh, uh, side. If the side is so so you know uh, so fat, um, there uh, you you have to do uh, many works after that. So the fitting is, uh, is I think, they're extremely important. Uh, if, if, even if you using in a resin, um, you know, sometimes uh, I don't use the side part of the resin because the fuselage is so wide and in the, the the four figure is incorrect, right? It, it doesn't it doesn't you know um, meant to be all. I mean, it's nonsense, right? So in this case. Fitting is alright, and I think the, cock, the canopy should be fine at that time. When you try to uh, rebuilding, test building, uh, just only this part, it's, it's usually it's just gonna be fine. But the problem is always uh, comes like that. Uh, if you put uh, many part into the uh, main fuselage into it, and the first is fine, uh, you, you testing fitting is all right. But after you put so many things, and you know, uh, you 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 might make a mistake because the you you don't uh, uh, consider to 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 uh, uh, things that like aftermath, right? Um, so. The important thing is that um, the print fitting before you construct is is important, but you don't trust it. You, if if it, it is fine, um, you know sometimes it goes very bad. Uh, so so especially in this case, it's cockpit is very important. Cockpit and the side fuselage uh, fitting is very very important. It makes a very huge gap if the cockpit is not incorrect. So. I think almost fine. Right, 